family suffering after Sandy, as you know, bowed, unbroken, and ready to vote. And ABC's Lindsay Davis tells us now what they're facing tonight. Without power, but not powerless. In some of the areas most devastated by Hurricane Sandy, we saw images like this of the victims eager to show with everything they lost, they still have a voice. In Rockaway Park, Queens, when the generators ran out of gas, voters had to cast ballots in the dark. Some New Jersey voters climbed into Winnebago's to cast their ballots. Overwhelmed by applications, state officials there extended the deadline for casting votes by email until Friday. Hard hit Staten Island residents are still trying to catch their breath. Did you get a chance to vote today? <laughs> vote? Yeah, I guess. No. no. Look at this. Who's got time to vote? Now there's the added burden of another storm on the way, expected to hit tomorrow night. This devastated coastline is in the bullseye of a nor'easter, bringing rain, high winds, coastal flooding, even snow. We could have some snow on the ground and certainly some snow on the trees. That makes trees who already have their base flooded uh, more likely to fall over. This is the New York City Police Department. New York City is prepping again, urging residents in the lowest lying areas to move out of the storm's path as parks, playgrounds and beaches are expected to be closed for 24 hours. New Jersey officials are watching the path of the storm closely. Just when I thought I was going to start to get some more sleep, uh, we're going to get the nor'easter and I think it's going to be all hands on deck again. How much more could we keep taking, you know? It's just when you think things are looking up, you get hit with something else. At the peak of the power outages, more than eight and a half million people were without power. Today, close to a million are still in the dark. And now the fear is that those who just got their power back may lose it again. Why does it always happen? We get creamed with a storm, and then always two days later, there's another storm. Linda Rusteno, a mother of seven, is trying to work fast to salvage what she can before the next round of rain and wind. You can take our home, but you can't take our heart. Lindsay Davis, ABC News. Staten Island.